So glad you're with us on this Saturday night with my partner, Quinn Buckner. I'm Kristen Airy. Yes, our hearts are heavy. The passing yesterday of Mel Daniels, the legendary center of those ABA championship teams. And so many of these Pacers knew him and loved him. Well, he was a big part of everything that happened around here. I don't think you can ever question that. Big part of these young players, like a mentor to them, making sure that they understood their responsibilities, not only on the court, but off the court. The Pacers lost a giant in this franchise. And as Mel would want it, we have to focus on basketball tonight as Indiana looks for its first win. Coming up, we'll have plenty more on Mel Daniels' legacy as an Indiana Pacer, the man and the player. Ladies and gentlemen, on Friday, the Pacers lost one of their greatest family members, center and Hall of Famer, Mel Daniels. A native of Detroit, Big Mel came to the Pacers in a trade in 1968 and joined teammates Roger Brown, Freddie Lewis, Darnell Hellman, Bob Nedelicki, George McGinnis, and others, and leading the Pacers to three ABA championships in a four-year span. He was a four-time All-ABA selection and twice was named the league most valuable player. Daniels was known as a fierce competitor on the court, but he could be a gentle person off the floor, especially when it came to his love for horses, poetry, and of course his wife, Cece. Mel's number 34 was retired in 1985, and in September 2012, he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Please join us as we pause to remember. Mel Daniels, champion. Hearts are heavy, the passing of Mel Daniels, who was a standout performer for the Indiana Pacers. Six years he played in Indiana. He was an MVP twice. He led the Pacers to three ABA championships. His jersey was retired in 1985 and, of course, inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2014. He was the all-star MVP in 1971. You can see he was the ABA career leader in rebounds. Earlier tonight, I caught up with Slick Leonard and Donnie Walsh to talk about Mel's legacy. If it hadn't been for Mel Daniels and his teammates, it wouldn't be here. It would not be here. And uh, he had a great life. Well, we had some great memories. Great memories. Of course, you know, that, that eight year span, uh, we went to the championship series five times. One at three, and then the others. Others we finished, uh, but Mel was Mel uh, touched a lot of people. He touched a lot of people, and you know we're sure gonna miss him. You know, he was just a terrific guy. He was a great guy for the Pacers. He was a great guy for Indianapolis. He was a great guy for Indiana, uh, and he was a great guy for basketball. And. That's what makes this loss. Some losses are very hard to get over, and I think this one will be for me. Minutes ago, a moment of silence for Mel Daniels.